Welcome. In front of me is a Oppo A80 and today I will show you how you can bypass the Google verification on this device and then also just completely remove it. Now, before we get started with the actual process, I'm gonna quickly mention what we will need for this because one of the things might not be uh, at your disposal right away. So that will be another device. I will be using some Motorola for this that I have laying around at the office, uh, but you can use virtually any Android device for this, as long as it, I believe, has the option to draw over other apps. Um, though I could be maybe not correct about that one. Um, so generally just like really cheap devices uh, sometimes will not be able to work with this. Uh, but for the most part, like I mentioned, most phones should be good to go. So you shouldn't really have that much of a problem. And uh, yeah, that's about all we will need. Another thing though is internet access on the device, which I'm pretty sure we all have that. So to get started with the actual bypass right here, you can see the phone I have uh, right here, Oppo A80 is locked. And it's telling me to draw the verification pattern to unlock it. Or if I close this, it's going to tell me to put in my Google account instead. So there we go. So to get started, we're gonna, at least I am gonna back up to the Wi-Fi connection page. Now, if you're at the very beginning of the setup, uh, where you get to select languages and all that stuff, then go forward through the setup till you get to the connect to Wi-Fi page. Uh, connect to your network. And once you have done so, you can then press on the eye icon right here. And next you're gonna select share. Now, if I click on it, I am gonna just block it as it does show the actual QR code and I think it also shows password. So I don't wanna really showcase that. So hand over right here. So yeah. So yep, you can see there's a QR code. There's also password somewhere higher. But what you want to press is this right here. Uh, quick share. And that's all we need to do. So we're gonna then select continue, three dots. And uh, I think three, that's right. Oh, I'm gonna go to the settings. And from here, we're gonna click right here on this text, the as highlighted, learn more about QuickShare. There's loads an article. So here you want to click on the three dots again and then select share article and choose Chrome. Now, when it pops up at this message right here, make sure you select the use without an account. Let's try that again. Okay, so once you press it the second time, it closes it. Uh, so all you need to do is just repeat the steps, share article, and again, Chrome. And this time around, it's gonna go to the next page, which is the whatever pop-up, so like, don't, no thanks. And now we can type in the search bar, hard reset and that info slash bypass. like so. If you need a moment to write this down yourself, pause the video. Here we're gonna start scrolling down and we're looking for this, the settings application. Click on it. It will redirect you to the phone settings. And next we will navigate to home screen and a lock screen. And then you wanna select home screen layout. This glitches the phone and takes you to the actual home screen. Uh, I do also want to point out that right now we are still in the setup process of the device. Um, so before I continue the process, I'm gonna quickly explain a couple of things. So right now what we did is just glitch the device to take us to the home screen. The phone still thinks it's in the setup. Uh, setup and if we were to reboot the device, it would go back to the setup. Um, additionally, we are missing buttons at the bottom and you can also see that the device is still locked. This will become a little bit more important uh, later on. Uh, so I'm just pointing that out right now for future reference, uh, I would say. So um, anyway, from the home screen, you want to swipe left and in the tools folder, you will find the phone clone application right here. So just simply click on it. 
and select that this is a new device and then select allow or while you're using the app uh, whenever you get the pop-ups now migrate data from uh, for me that's going to be other android so that's what i'm going to select and as you can see this generates a qr code so we're going to shift it over to the back to the side and bring the other phone that we need so here you want to open up uh play store and search for clone phone oh there is the search bar uh so clone phone now there is going to be a couple different ones so we are looking for either the oneplus or oppo uh, both of them are exactly the same to be honest uh, but for the purpose of this video i am going to select the correct one which is the oppo one and then select install once it's installed select open and again anything that pops up here with uh, just select either uh, agree or while using the app scan the qr code okay now stupidly enough here uh whenever you have to agree to something you have this pop-up right here so uh basically clone phone wants access to camera and what we need to do idiotically is deauthorize it so we can authorize it go figures china anyway uh once you do so as you can see camera becomes enabled so now what you want to do is just simply hover the camera over the qr code and again before these devices can connect to each other it gives you the stupid pop-up so we're going to select deauthorize and then we are using the app then settings uh find the clone phone up from the app list so right at the top toggle it on and then go back and it should be right now connecting yep there we go here we're gonna deselect uh basically almost everything apart from apps select next again we're gonna go to settings toggle on go back next so as you can see it's selected just apps which is what we need i'm gonna now click on the apps and deselect all of them right here and then from the list find the application that takes the least amount of space so either a couple megabytes uh, or maybe even in kilobytes if you're lucky so let's, let me just quickly catch up with the guide okay so there isn't very many apps that i can choose from it looks like find my device is the smallest one at 20 megabytes yep so that's what i'm gonna select find my device now for you obviously you might have different applications visible right here so like i said select anything that is uh, smallest in size um kilobytes being the smallest uh, megabytes being bigger and gigabytes being the largest one so you want to obviously stay away from gigabytes uh the reason for that is the bigger the file the longer it will take to transfer it over so anyway just one application is enough and like i mentioned it doesn't matter what application select okay from there and then choose next and again we're going to select the authorize so we can authorize and now we're going to select start migrating start migrating and it will begin moving the application and it's basically finished right here so cool we're going to select done so this phone is not needed anymore now one thing that you will find out while looking at this for you it might say that it succeeded or it might fail like for me it really doesn't matter if it succeeded or failed uh, and you will see in a second why so just the fact that we tried to move over the applications and it did something is enough to give us the option when we click on done to move us to the next page in setup which is the lock screen method which now you might realize that we have just straight up skipped the verification portion of the setup so we're gonna select skip right here and select later and then just select the typical continue choose your navigation method and select done and this will then take you to the home screen now here comes the second part of what i said uh the reason um 
I was mentioning before that we have home screen visible, but it was still in a lag screen, is because the second portion of this now, we are back on the home screen, but this time around the device is fully set up. So we have access to our typical navigation and everything works kind of as intended, but the device is still locked. So there is one last thing that we need to do, which is navigate into these settings. And from here, scroll all the way down to about the device, swipe down again and uh, okay, never mind, it's not in about device. Where is it? Additional settings. Yep, so it's in additional settings. Here you'll find backup and reset. You wanna click on that and then select reset phone, erase all data, erase all data, and press on that uh, once more. Now, to explain uh, this a little bit further, why you're doing this and why we didn't do that before, which like I said, it will become a little bit more important later on. Um, when we first had access to our home screen with the device still being uh, what it would consider a lock uh, on a setup portion, if you were to do the reset that I'm telling you to do right now, the device would just kind of check. It would consider, okay, it's in setup process. It is locked, so it's gonna reset it, but go back to being locked. But now that the device is finished with the setup and you go through the reset of it, the device checks screen lock existing, nope. Um, checks uh, if it's set up, yes. So if you want to reset the device, that's completely fine. Uh, we're gonna remove everything, which also includes the protection that was previously used on this device, which like I said, is still somewhere in the, the phone. So by doing this reset, you're basically getting rid of it uh, altogether. And one thing that I also want to point out, the verification for like the pattern that I had and actual screen lock, uh, after the reset, once it becomes a verification, is a completely different thing than a screen lock. So it, it just allows us to perform a reset without verifying it. Therefore, fully unlocking itself. So that's what you want to do as a last step. Now I'm not gonna go through the reset of the device as it is just a lot of black screen and waiting for the device to finish up the reset and then you're back to the setup. At which point you can set up your device in whatever way you want as it's fully unlocked. Uh, but if you really want to see me do the reset, I will be recording a separate video, just a simple reset through settings. So for people interested, this will be recorded right after this, this, so you can check it out if you're really interested. But like I said, it's just a simple reset, not much to it. So with that being said, if you found this very helpful, don't forget to hit like, subscribe and unlock. Oh, right, uh, because the device is still in uh, this kind of in-between state, uh, you kind of can't unlock it easily. So as you can see, you can interact with the uh, notifications or you can open up some applications from the lock screen to unlock it. So this is a, a thing that you really want to do. But anyway, with that being said, if you found this very helpful, don't forget to hit like, subscribe, and thanks for watching.